Ooh, is that so? Well, if only you did have the right card in your hand to back up that claim. Well, unfortunately for you, I do. I've been keeping a hold of this card since this duel began, and I think now is the good time to use it. I play the spell card Authoring to the Green Dragon! With this spell card's activation, I am allowed to perform another fusion summon by shuffling monsters from my graveyard, hand, or field back into my deck to special summon a green-eyed fusion monster. A fusion summon? Again? You heard that correctly. I combine Green Eyes Fairy Dragon and Green Eyes Grey Dragon in my graveyard. Dragon from dreams turn to reality. Dragon with green colored eyes. Fuse together the guardian of the planet. I fusion summon. Come forth. Green Eyes Mondus Dragon. Mondus Dragon's effect activates. By banishing a green eyes monster from my graveyard, I'm allowed to target one monster you control. That monster's effects are negated, meaning your monster's attack points return to normal. Furthermore, the monster I target loses attack points equal to that of the green eyes monster I banish. Since I banished green eyes dragon archfiend from my graveyard, and both our monsters have the same attack points, it's losing all of them. What? Well, it doesn't matter. Even if my monster's effect is negated and its attack points are zero, you still don't have enough to finish off my life points. Do you honestly think I don't know that? That's why I banished the victory from my graveyard. By doing so, my green eyes Mondes Dragon gains 1,000 extra attack points until the end of my next turn. What? No! This is impossible! You can't do this! I just did. Now, go Green Eyes Mondes Dragon! Well, I don't think so. Good thing I... Oh no! No! I can't! I've run out of parasites in my hand! I can't do anything! Oh, what a shame! Because no parasites means no trouble. Go! Green Eyes Mondes Dragon! Attack and destroy Great Renegade Dragonfly! Go Terra Firma Plasma! No. No! And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner! <laughs> That's a wrap. Uh, did, did you decide something from Yuya Sakaki? Uh, no. Hey, where are you going? Stating a word with the Lancers. There's something I need to tell them. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, the first round of the Lancer Tournament is over. Don't forget to return next week as we continue with our exciting second round. Topia! Ace? Topia, I know what you're trying to do. Doing what? Don't give me that look. I've invented that look. I know what you're trying to do here. You're not joining this tournament so you can become a Lancer. You're just joining this tournament to start a rebellion. You're trying to convince other Exesians to rebel against fusion. Ace, you don't understand. I don't have a choice. Yes, you do. You don't have to do this. Yes, I do. I lost friends during that war. I lost family. And worst of all, I've lost a hand. The fusion dimension have taken almost everything from me. And what? I'm supposed to forgive them now? I will not forgive, and I will not forget. Not after everything they've done to me. Their actions will not become unpunished. Topia, no. You don't understand. You're only going to make things worse if you go through with this. No. I will make it better. For all Exesians. Not all of them were responsible for this. You don't have to blame everyone. Think of all those Exesians that have lost friends, family, everything, their entire dimension. And now look at all the other ignorant Exesians out there. Shaking hands with fusionists. Calling them their friends. Luckily, there are some people who are smart enough to see the truth. Others like me. 
You could either do the same or get left behind, Ace. It's your choice. Topia, look, we've all lost friends. We've all lost family. We've all lost something that means the world to us. But that's the reason why the Heartland Dojo was committed. For giving those who didn't have a home a place. We're all friends. We're all family now. You don't have to go along with this. You could do a million things, and it still won't bring anyone you love back from the grave. For once, just forget about the past and move on. Someone taught me the only way to truly live in peace is if you're prepared to forgive. Yeah, you don't understand, fool. I'll win, and you're dead. <laughs> You've got a lot of nerve going out here killing people. Well, not my fault, mate. I go around killing people because it's fun, because I get all the best cards. I can tell how you're doing it and all. You're using the solid mass vision on your dual pad. Something that was outlawed after the war ended. Except for this one, mate. And guess what? You're going to be next. <laughs> you know what? I'll take you up on that offer. If you win, I'll give you my strongest card. A card passed down to me from a man who trusted me to wield its strength. A card so rare that there are only nine copies in the entire world. Alright, mate, but guess what? You're gonna lose. Duel. As you wish. Duel. My turn. Draw. I start by playing the spell card, one for one. By discarding a monster, I'm allowed to special summon a level one monster from my hand or deck. I special summon Megabyte. And when this monster's summoned, I draw one card. Then I play my spell card, Machine Duplication, which lets me dupe my Megabyte into three more. And with two more Megabytes means I draw two more cards. Then I play my spell card, Polymerization, which has me combined all three of my Megabytes. Our Fusion Summon, come forth, Gigabyte. <sighs> I activate Gigabyte's special ability. It gains 1,000 attack for every machine used to summon it. Next I'll play my spell card, Dimensional Fissure, which banishes any card that goes to the graveyard. And then I play card, Destruction. Now we each discard our entire hands and draw the same cards we discarded. And thanks to your dimensional fissure, I have to banish the cards I discard. Clever, but I do get those same cards back. Normally, yeah, but guess what, mate? Gigabyte prevents you from adding cards from your deck to your hand except during the draw phase. Now you've lost your starting hand. <laughs> Amusing. And don't bother setting any monsters or spells or traps because now, as long as Gigabyte's on the field, you can't set cards. But neither can I. I end my turn. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing, it's just... You honestly think that taking away my entire starting hand is really gonna phase me. But what else? You can't do anything. You're lost. You all you have to do is draw one card and it probably won't be the card you need. <laughs> That's fine enough by me. Because sometimes one card is all it takes to change the outcome of a duel. DRAW! I play the spell card Magic Hunter Tag Team. With this spell card, I'm allowed to choose two Magic Hunters with different names from my graveyard or banish zone and special summon them to the field. However, their effects are negated and they can't attack, but that's fine by me. I special summon Pyro of the Magic Hunters and Cryo of the Magic Hunters. Doesn't even matter, they're not the same level, so you can't see someone. I didn't say I was done yet. Tag Team has another effect. If both the monsters I summon are different levels, they become the exact same level as the highest level one out of the two. 
Since Pyro is the highest level monster out of the two, Cryo transforms to match his own level, making them both level four. Wait, what? You wanted to see my strongest card, and now you're about to. With these two monsters, I build the Overlay Network. From an ancient world where hope is needed for survival, I awaken the most powerful of beasts. Come forth and go beyond. I exceed summon one for all dragon. <laughs> Only 1,000 attack points, mate. You're serious. <laughs> Have you been playing dual monsters long enough to know that attack points aren't everything? I activate One for All Dragon's ability. By discarding an overlay unit, this card gains any number of attack points between 1 and 4,000. I choose to add 4,000 attack. Time out. Then I'll activate his effect again, getting rid of its last overlay unit to add another 4,000 attack. Oh no you don't, right? Not this time. Go, go, stronger and store it. It's destroyed, mate. Access denied. Denied? What do you mean denied? What do you mean denied? You don't deny. <laughs> because you can't activate card effects in response to One For All's special ability. Furthermore, one for all becomes unaffected by all card effects the turn its ability is activated. No way, well I can't let it pop, there's got to be some nasty drawback. There is. Its attack points return to normal during the end phase. Also, I take damage equal to the total combined attack I added to this card. But this duel isn't going to last until the end phase. No, 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 you can't do this. This is a warning to all of you scoundrels in this world. You are the venom of our universe, and I am your anti-venom. I am the cure. Now go, one for all dragon. Destroy Gigabyte. Detroit, Neutron, Destruction! So let me get this straight. This Viper is a member of the Organization of the Forgotten. Yeah, and he's participating in your tournament. Interesting. When he signed up to our tournament, he went by the name of Slade. And he stated that he was from Phoenix University. He even had files to prove it. Slade? You know him, Hugo? Well... Yeah, but he was a guy back in the Evolution Dimension. I knew him in Duel Academy, but that wasn't the Slade I remember. The Slade I remember was an incredibly weak duelist. In fact, I remember back in the Power Plant, there was another duel spirit who claimed he was Slade. Well, before he got possessed by a duel spirit and all. It must be some sort of fake identity that he created. Just so he could get in the tournament. Those files you looked at must have easily been hacked. I see. Either way, we must take action before this gets even worse. I'm afraid not. If we take action now, we will only start causing a panic. We will allow this Viper to participate in our tournament for now, but we will keep a close eye on him. Should he do anything stupid, we will act. <sighs> I see. What was that? Whatever it was, it came from downtown in the alleyway. I'll check it out.